my IQ is extremely high. Good evening, everybody. Roger here. I uh, want to go ahead and talk to you guys. Uh, just, uh, just first off, I'm leaving Colorado right now. I was on a vacation for a couple of weeks and um, heading back over to Phoenix. I got my cat in here with me and uh, he's kind of chilling out on the drive home. Uh, he cuddles on my leg while I'm driving. So if he starts making noise, that's what it is, my cat. Anyway, oh, and I'm also sick, so I, I apologize in advance. Uh, anyways, want to go ahead and talk about I finally got to see a lot of very key videos <laughs> in regards to the Kilroy event. Key videos I guess I've never seen before that uh, Mr. Medeker, thank you, uh, who ended up posting these videos uh, on his uh, YouTube account. I, I think the reason why I couldn't find it before is because I was looking for a keyword of Kilroy and never, never, that never pulled up. The title doesn't have Kilroy in it for some reason. Maybe it's a keyword, I don't know. Anyways, I did finally find it and I got to watching it the whole 30 minutes Wow, what an eye opener! What an eye opener! Um, I, and again, I appreciate you putting it, putting that out there. It's so clear and concise. That it totally, totally helps. There were some things in there that I never heard before. Where, uh, you know, uh, you know, there there is a lot of cover up going on now. I can I can definitely I can definitely see that. There's a lot of biasness going on. Um, it's it's getting to the point now where I think I am on the sides of people who are anti Kilroy. I will still be attending as a guest. Um, you know, I was going to be opting for my refund. If it ends up not happening, then yeah, I'll, I'll get my full refund, hopefully. Unless we have to file a class action lawsuit against this, uh, this thing. Or whatever the company name is at this point, which is probably going to just bankrupt, it, bankrupt itself out. So much so much BS with what's going on. So apparently, Base Mama, <coughs> excuse me. Base Mama had to take out a thirty thousand dollar loan to uh, to uh, to get a down payment for the event hotel or the event convention center, and it is the Sheraton Hotel. I mis mistakenly thought it was going to be at the Phoenix Convention Center. So, anyways, she supposedly takes out a thirty thousand dollar loan. So now she's she decides that she wants to go ahead and just use people's names. Uh, people that she doesn't like and, she, and you know in, in Mr. Medicare's video he ends up pointing this out he doesn't even have to all he has to do is just put the stuff together from all, from all of these um, video chats that uh, that big mama had base mama had <laughs> sorry I, I'm a, I always mess up her name and and, and and she says it herself you know she's I don't know how to do it but I'm going to be using these people and I have no intent of, of ever putting them out on on um uh, uh, to speak as our as our guests, but I needed. But she basically said that she just used their names to get them uh, to get ticket sales. This wasn't with uh, some black guy's recent video, his two-hour video where he was brought Andy Warski, Base Mama, Sister Danger, and a couple of other people who didn't really talk. He brought them in to discuss the scenario. Looking back on me watching that and watching Mr. Medicare's video afterwards, I can totally see where I missed a big issues that Andy didn't bring up. Andy brought up partially, but he didn't really bring up fully to help us understand what was going on. Now I understand, and and wow, I'm, I'm, I, I seriously think that there's going to be probably some legal issues with uh, Base Mama here very shortly, and I'm pretty sure she's going to try to redirect it over to Kilroy. Uh, LLC or whatever but okay so she uses people she used all these people who she didn't like initially she verbally said she didn't like them and and uh, had no intention of ever bringing them in she doesn't like some of the subjects they, they wanted to talk about and she she also breaks about her IQ kind of a side subject my IQ is extremely high you know when you brag about your IQ there's, there's a certain level of insecurity that goes along with you as a person it is extremely frustrating. I, I, I don't know why people want to brag about something like that. I guess like, you know, 140 is above average, whatever, you know. I'd rather brag about just being alive, you know, and, and being thankful that we're alive and actually able to experience everything we're experiencing here. Anyways. <gasps> it is extremely frustrating. Okay, so, so Base Mama basically ends up... Uh, uh, verbally coming out and saying that she didn't really intend to ever use these these uh, speakers initially. She was gonna have speakers not, she didn't want it to be YouTube content.
content creators, you know, and, and she made it known with these conversations that she's had with some of the people that she still has on the panel. Um, and Mr. Medica pointed that out. There was one conversation in particular where she's like, no, she's like, it's my, it's my dream. It's my event. And it's my dream that, um, that I get to have all these different uh, sociology, uh, psychology speakers that are going to be speaking at this event. And if she has to use some people along the way, like big names, Faith Goldie, um, uh, I'm not going to say Sticks because Sticks uh, decided to stick with the whole process for a while. But, you know, Faith Goldie, um, James Allsup, you know, these, these big names temporarily just so she can sell some tickets uh, and then gradually weed them out. I kind of actually now see that that is the case that happened. I don't think that what she did was not ill intent. I think everything she did was ill intent. That's what I'm seeing at this point. It's it's a shame. It's um. So base mama, you know, decided to pocket the money from. I'm not going to say pocket the money, but she's now has she's reached past the eighty or seventy or eighty thousand dollar goal for this event, and now she's in charge. This is supposedly her event. This is supposedly going to be something that she um, uh, is going to be in charge of. She doesn't want to take shit from anybody. And then that video that I just see earlier where she's saying, oh, I didn't choose Arizona just for a specific, you know, for any reason. She's like, Arizona is a right to carry state. So if anybody wants to rain in my parade, especially these these uh, right-wing nationalists or whatever, whatever group name she used, she obviously has a bias. How is a free speech event being being organized by a woman who will not tolerate letting individuals speak regardless if it's against her thought, ideology, or the opposite. And all in between. How is this a free speech event? How is it? It's not. It's not. So, here's the thing. I am going to still be attending. She, uh, she's basically doing all this on her own now at this point. I, I do think that she did end up using some of the funds and some of these big names to go ahead and and move them out, use them to use them to uh, have the ticket sales happen. Now that we understand that Base Mama has been using uh, very big games from YouTube to promote the sales of the Kilroy event, yes, I do feel like I've been had. Um, I don't like it. I hate it. I am still going to attend. If it still goes on, I am still going to attend. I'm going to be filming. I'm going to be documenting what happens. And uh, I know that I can do that. Um, I've even seen it on Roaming Millennials posts saying that there's going to be... This is the part I don't like. She's like, oh, well, you know, there's going to be... Uh, I have been informed that we can video there. There's going to be spots designated to, to make videos. I don't like that. You know, if anybody wants to go to a free speech event, I don't care who you are, what you do, what your background is, um, we should be able to record anything at all times for whatever reason. Now, granted, maybe some people who obviously, you know, ex-Muslims who might get targeted, I, I can I can, I can, can totally understand that. Put a sign in the door, I'll have respect, but I am going to go ahead and audio record. It's possible that I will, but I'll, I'll, I'll have the respect of editing out whoever the person's name is, just say, you know, in my footage, I'll be putting um, uh, uh, an ex-Muslim speaker, you know, if I ever, if I do go into that panel. So, I don't, I don't like that, the, the, instru the rules are vague, the, uh, the non-disclosure agreement was done after, after all of the speakers were announced, then they started handing out these NDAs and uh, uh, no could not compete clauses, uh, not compete co uh, contracts. After the fact, after these sales, that are, after these ticket sales is already, the goals have been reached, or at least more than halfway. Do you think that that, that, that I personally believe, just like Mr. Medicare uh, believes, that this was done intentionally? That it was done because nobody would want to sign these things, or hardly anybody would want to sign them, and it was done intentionally. Now. Um, I feel very bad for some of these people who were going to speak and then had this thrown at them. And then you hear Sister Danger saying, oh, well, you know, none of these documents were required in the first place. And then uh, Andy Worski asks, okay, well, if they're not required, are people still guaranteed to speak even if they don't sign them? And then she was quiet for a while and said, okay, um, maybe, possibly. 
this was a this was a setup all from the start. I'm seeing that now. I I, I didn't see it before. Again, I, I am going to go out there and re record the whole scenario, and uh, and uh, or re you know record as much doc documented as much as I can, and uh, see see what see what this whole event really is about, and then come back and report it to everyone so everybody can see for themselves. I have a feeling, you know, it's it's uh, uh, this. I won't even go to the feeling. In one mile, be in the right lane, then turn right on US 160. Okay, so she's telling me what to do now. <laughs> Anyways, so that's, if you guys haven't seen Mr. Medicare's video yet, I'll, I'll link it in the, in the description below. Um, but I, I, I do feel, for those who do want to get their money back, you guys probably should ASAP. You know, I don't know how much longer it is before you can't get your refund. I think I'm okay with not getting my refund. I'm a little pissed off that I was misled on what this this whole event was. I'm very pissed off about that, and I will make it known. Uh, I will make it known to the event organizers. You know, there was a there was a, um, uh, but I am going to go. There was a comment that I read in, in Andy Medicare's, I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Medicare's video. US one sixty. There was a comment posted by somebody who said, you know, uh, Dave Cullen is hiding behind the death of his mother, and, you know, because of all the issues that are happening, and there, there were some other things that he pointed out, and I'm like, okay, it's a little harsh, it is a little harsh. Continue on the road. At the same time, he's, this, this, this person who posted this comment is, who knows, maybe, maybe it's valid. You know, I'm not going to rule out anything just because I like uh, uh, a content creator like uh, like Dave Cullen. You know, I, I, I love Dave Cullen. I think he's great. But, you know, him and I, I went through the same thing with my mom. Lost her. It was very hard for me. And um, that was a couple years back. And it still hurts every day. But you, but you got to look at this neutral. What if that is just an excuse for him? Okay, and I'm using that term loosely. I'm saying a what if here. What if that is being used as an issue that he needs time to to uh, 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 grieve? You know, that he didn't give himself time to grieve, and I I can respect that. But what if it is also there's a hidden meaning in there as well, where you know he uh, he sees how out of control this has gotten. He sees what kind of person Base Mama actually is. I see what kind of person Base Mama actually is after Mr. Medicare's video. After that. Wow. Yeah, there. Again, she's. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, she's got. She's not. You're not for free speech, Miss this, this, uh, uh, Base Mama. If, if you're. If you're pre selecting conversations, if you're pre selecting the people that you have, if you're giving NDAs out after the fact and then forcing people to sign them, not telling them that they're optional. And then bringing in the people that you want this event to be about. These psychologists, these sociologists that you've always imagined could come together and, and, and make an event happen to, to your life. Not to, not to the Kilroy pat pat uh, patrons, who, uh, us ticket buyers, you know, who we went in wanting the event with the speakers that you initially had. We're not getting that. You're getting, we're basically getting... We got had. We got had. You know, you're making it now your own. You, you, you fooled all of us. You fooled all of us. But when I go in there, I am going to be, and I am going to be neutral. I'm going to be neutral. If you have, if this event turns out to be good, I'll be reporting the good. If it turns out to be bad, I'll be reporting the bad. If it turns out to be a mixture of all in between, that's what I'll be doing. I'll be reporting what I see. I'm not going to be biased. But I will say, at this point in time, you are definitely the person Mr. Medeker has pointed you out to be. I see no ifs, ands, or buts about that. You've made it very clear, perfectly clear. Um, it's just, it's ridiculous how you abuse people. Very untrustworthy. But I am still going. You can keep my 150 bucks. I'm gonna get my ticket. I'm gonna be there. And I will report on what's going on. Uh, other than that, that's where I stand on this whole thing. I do hope that you guys, there is a video out there for those who do want a refund. There is a video on YouTube that shows you how to get a refund. Just 
YouTube it. Uh, Google it and you'll, you'll find it. Uh, I'll probably put a link below if I can remember so that way you guys have a direct access to that link. Other than that, if you don't go, I totally understand. I'm in the position of not wanting to go. But I also do want to... My... I don't want to be just... I don't want to be one of those people that talks bad about something but not have the first-hand experience of it. That's not the kind of person I am. I want to be there in person, whether I have a bad weekend or not, Saturday and Sunday for this event. Um, it's going to be time well spent because I'll be able to spread the news out to you guys of what's going on. So I hope you guys appreciate this video. Uh, thank you again to uh, Andy Worski for, for you know uh, disclosing these issues coming up. Thank you again to Mr. Medicare for pointing out the issues. And again, the person who I think, in my opinion, who started it off uh, was James also. You know, to just jumpstart the train, making this it's very articulate video of how they ignored him and kicked him out. Um, you know, again, Tim Pool, there's a lot of Faith Goldie, there's a couple of other people who have also uh, chimed in. But uh, thank you all for, for, you know, for having that footage out there. Uh, I'm going to try to do good by, you know, disclosing what I find out about this whole event. We'll go from there. I hope you guys have a great day. Peace out. My IQ is extremely high.